Most people in America are familiar with when God opens a door, shuts a window, slams the house to the ground, and openly in my lifetime I've only been hit by the Lord, physically assaulted by God, when I wanted to disobey Him and run to the girl that I love. But the reality is that she has chosen another without the Lord's timing. And she played in for a while, but she didn't follow through. And because she didn't follow through, her attitude is worth through. But God doesn't play that way, and God doesn't stay that way, and openly I can keep rhyming until the Lord's timing runs out. But the truth is, what you do for you is what you do for you. What I do for me is what I do for me. But when you started to play in my life, when you started to abuse my body, when you started to sexually assault me without my consent, when you started to use your audio technology, when you started to use your rooms in a jail to abuse me, you destroyed your entire motherfucking life. The Lord God will take your life, whether you're ready for it or not. The Lord God will take your wife, whether you want it or not. And the Lord God will demystify your children to the point that they may never be the same again. But the Lord God knows his name is in every soul until they forget his name and when. But what we're talking about is not the Lord above. What we're talking about is what you think is below you. And the challenge of every American citizen, the challenge of every person around the globe, is to never believe that they are above the Lord's house and timing.